It's been quite a little bit, of, quite a bit of travelling to Bab Lake School and to Warwick Uni, um, but it's just nice to to, to be back uh, at Bucks Park and just doing all our sessions here. We can we can we can get way more done in the day being back here. But uh, the pitch is, is is lovely to train on. Um, the lads are really really enjoying, it, especially the backs. Eleven, that is a fast track to play on. So it's been great. Well, that's uh, I mean you're a fast track kind of hooker as well. I mean the set piece. Don't get me wrong, the set piece is important, but you know you like to get the ball in your hands out in the open spaces. Um, you know, so for your own game and for the other forwards as well, is it a, a step up for that as well? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, to be fair, a lot of the boys in our pack love to get their ball, uh, get their hands on the ball, and and uh, show what they can do in a bit of space. Um, so yeah, for all of us, it's going to be great, you know, because we can showcase what what skill we have across the board, not just in the backs but in our pack as well. Amphill is going to be a new venue for you, I think. Um, but some of the lads will have played there in National One. What are they passing on to Fordby? Because it's a unique stadium, it's a, a unique venue. Yeah, I, I, I've only heard from what the boys have said through playing them in the past. Um, I'm looking forward to going down there. I know I, I recognise a few few names down there, a few, a few old names from the Premiership, and, and a few lads that I, I I played with and played against down there. So I'm looking forward to bumping heads with those boys. Um, it's going to be a tough tough game, but like I said, the, the lads are really looking forward to getting out there and, and getting stuck into this first game. In terms of uh, you're talking about the you know bumping heads against a few old guys that like uh, the likes of Sorani Tonga Weir spring to mind. Uh, I think Aleki Lutu yeah, is still there. He's there. Um, you know, you experienced time back in the Premiership at the end of last season. What do you take from that? Uh, you know, from those games with Saints, uh, particularly that semi-final away to Exeter. Uh, just what level we personally need to get to to, to get get this club to that level. Um, you know, it, I know they're only a league below, but there is a massive step up in what we need to do to get ourselves Prem ready if we want to go up and push for for, for promotion. Um, but you know, we've recruited well this season. Um, and also with uh, Alan coming in uh, to our coaching staff as well, and, and Chris with our S and C, you know, we're, 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 we're slowly building towards that, which is great to see. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd say we just we're, we're slowly putting those building blocks in to get ourselves to that standard. Um, so it's great, it's great actually for me coming back from Saints and seeing how much has changed in that three, four month block I was away. And uh, obviously I, I didn't start pre-season until four weeks after the lads, uh, the first lads uh, started uh, their training. So it's great to see how much we've developed um, with our training and our coaching and uh, the lads coming in with their experience as well. So we're, we're definitely closing that gap um, from where we are. Uh, from where we were last year to where we are at the minute so it's great I'm, I'm really looking forward to it and finally um, open day just a quick reflection on last Saturday it was a good afternoon wasn't it oh it's great uh, <laughs> I'm like a big kid myself so I just ended up getting the pads and, and uh, beating up the kids you know hitting them with the you know setting up a gauntlet and, and hitting the kids with the pads but they seem to enjoy it so it's great um, but it's great just to mingle with some of the fa fans and, and speak to them and they're excited to see you know what we've got to bring this season